Art is the special guest for your next party. It can be a birthday or anniversary or just a celebration of today and the special people and activities of your day. So I'm starting with some party paper. So we're gonna use a gelatin plate. And a gelatin plate is exactly what it sounds like. It's made out of gelatin. Now you can make this yourself on the stove or you can buy a pre-made one that lasts forever. The ones that you make on your stove, those have to be kept in the refrigerator. They last a couple weeks depending on how gentle or tough you are. The next thing to make our party paper is we're gonna use some paper towel. And I'm just folding the paper towel up to make my life a little bit easier with cutting. Because what I wanna do is cut some circles out of the paper towel. That may be a little thick, let's try this. And just go ahead and cut some wonky, uneven, sort of, you know, confetti is often in the shape of circles. So that's what that makes me think of. And once you cut out a bunch of circles, the hardest part of this is separating the pieces of paper towel that have been stacked together. So that's all you're gonna do is pull them apart. So now we're gonna go ahead and pour out a little bit of gel medium and then take a brayer and spread it across. Now really this layer is because we're using spray ink on top of the gel plate and the gel plate just really wants to resist liquidy materials. So I'm gonna clean off my brayer onto my paper towel and then I'm actually going to, with this very first, it's kinda like the first pancake, I'm just gonna go ahead and just blot off just by pushing, not rubbing, to sort of start that gel plate going. So now we've got a nice good coat and we're gonna go one more time with that gel medium and go on through it. So once we've done that, we're gonna put out some of our circles, like so, however you want, hanging off, overlapping. Give a little shake to your spray ink. Spray out some color. Then go ahead with your second color. Spray out some color. And then you're gonna take your paper, press it over the top, and you're gonna get a really cool print with holes, but it gets better because this next spray is going to incorporate this, the uh, colors that have gone before it because the paper towel has absorbed it. So this time when you're pressed, you're gonna get the color that we just sprayed and the previous color, which is super cool. And look at that, oop, we've even got some clinging paper towel. But you can see you get a really layered, cool look.